Last week, Pitt head coach Pat Narduzzi treated ACC Media Days as a sort of unofficial airing of the grievances. Bounced around from different topics, starting with the COVID-ravaged 2020 season, to respect for his team and conference, to the state of college athletics as a whole. Narduzzi filled his one day of appearances at the Charlotte Weston Hotel with complaints and bold statements. Let's run through a little bit of what he said. He said he thinks that Pitt could go to the Big Ten and would it win it regularly. He prefers the two-division two format to division-less scheduling, which the ACC will adopt after this coming season. He said the NIL is becoming pay-for-play, ruining the loyalty of college players and making college football unfair. In that same kind of breath, he rehashed the Jordan Addison saga, saying that he absolutely believes USC tampered. He added that Pitt also helped Addison get to where he is now, just as much as Addison helped Pitt get to where they are now. And he also said that the Big Ten adding USC and UCLA is not good for the sport. I'm not here to evaluate the merit of any of Narduzzi's claims, but I think they do say a lot about who he is, just as a person. Narduzzi is opinionated and sometimes brash, but above all else, I think loyal to the team that he coaches. His confidence, or arrogance, I guess depending on who you ask, often manifests itself as abrasive or rude as a result. People outside the program aren't huge fans of Narduzzi on a personal level, but I think he's fine with that. I think he believes it inspires an us-against-the-world attitude that he finds useful when he's trying to motivate his team or inspire them to play a little bit harder. For evidence, just take a look at some of the Twitter accounts of some of his players. Think about Marquez Williams and John Morgan, two veteran leaders on Pitt's defense. They treat promoting Pitt and, to be honest, trash-talking other teams as a part-time job. can't remember the last time I opened Twitter and didn't see them demanding that national media give players or coaches a better standing in whatever random power rankings or watch list comes across their feed. They reflect the attitude of their head coach, who expects their 2021 season to translate into more respect and national recognition on a larger scale. And as much as we'd like to move past the talk of realignment and college sports governments that has dominated the offseason this year, it undoubtedly underscores and will continue to underscore just about everything that happens in college football this season. The criteria for joining a super conference or remaining in that kind of upper tier of college sports elite is subjective at times, and reputation is a powerful agent in the fight to remain among the rich and powerful. This has been a struggle for Pitt for years. Not it hasn't been as pressing, but it's something that everyone has to think about. You know, the jokes about seven, eight win seasons and attendance do get annoying eventually, and they do kind of shape how people think about your program from the outside. Every passing year puts distance between the glory days of Dorsett, Marino, and Johnny Majors, while the recent history, aside from a handful of seasons and moments, remains relatively unspectacular. We're paying special attention to Narduzzi because we're in Pittsburgh and I write about Pitt, but this is a battle that every coach fights, especially now, as we talked about with the impending realignment rumors and the increased polarization between the SEC and the Big Ten as they kind of consolidate their power into two super conferences, so to speak. You, as a coach, are your program's most prominent spokesperson, and you have no responsibility to anyone but the people in that program. So why not defend them vehemently at every turn? Pat Narduzzi is not the most articulate man in the world, and I think that can lead to him rubbing people the wrong way a lot. I don't particularly disagree with a lot of the things that he said, I guess, but I think he can kind of word them in ways that are intentionally prickly, abrasive, uh, you know, out there, intended to get people's attention and get to, and get them to listen to Pitt. I think he also thinks that it clearly, he clearly thinks that a manufactured, and I do say manufactured because I do not think the kind of disrespect that Narduzzi is talking about, especially as it relates to his team, actually exists. I think people are actually pretty high on Pitt this season, despite all a lot of really high-profile losses. But I think he believes that a manufactured chip on his shoulder, on, their sh on his players' shoulders, helps inspire them to play a little bit harder. He wants them to feel doubted and, in turn, motivated.